receive a new day at the last Sunday of the month of January 2022. A new life, a new day, a new grace, a new grace, a new favor, a new glory. Oh, we give you glory, we give you honor. We say thank you, Jesus. Was 
seen there second to the last day of the month of January 2022. It is under a prophetic shop anchor that you're going to see the end of this year, 2022. No devil stops you. No hair can be against you. Amen. Father, we thank you this morning. kingdom, for thy is the glory, for thy is the power. Have your way to the salvage and make a name for yourself. Make a great name for yourself. And let our lives become the expression, the manifestation of an encounter with the Lord of heaven. May miracles, testimonies, may there be healing, transformation, salvation of souls today. And by the time we shall be living here, we live, O oh Lord, a people that have encountered you, that your name might be glorified. Show your way, O oh God, in this summer you have made unto us today. May it not end as an ordinary summer, that Jesus be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and ask you to stay stuck in the moment of life as you keep on standing for time. We are going to take our devotion and give and then we get seated and we speak God's word with grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. Our devotion and give is what we are going to be taking now. And please, Think into the words and be told of him. Don't just think it like that. Meditatively, let's sing it. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God.
faithfulness of our God shall ever be great in our lives. Yeah. I tell you, and that is what God is able to do. When you say that the faithfulness of God is great, it means it cannot fail. It means it is the faithfulness that can take you through everything and thing, every high water, every great trouble of life. It can take you. Give them somebody. And I want you to always believe that our devotional hymn on Sunday is a prophetic illustration from the deep heart of God to us on that particular Sunday service. Amen, somebody. Amen. We thank God for what He's doing in our ongoing 40 days and 40 nights prayer, uh, life in the spirit prayer and fasting program. And I thank God because I know that it is only what grace can do. Keep coming every day in the evening, pray together as a family, uh, anointing, uh, receiving anointing of God and all that, and still remain strong. There is no doubt, there is no argument about it that God is helping us. We see His grace and it is to His own glory. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. The truth is that the 40 days and 40 nights that the scripture program is actually striking a chord of good. He's striking good chord. It's actually making some spiritual expansion. You may not see it now. I told you some time ago that spiritual things don't show up on time. When you are into a spiritual progression, into a journey with God, and you expect it to see result or something at the moment, you 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 have no grip by the daily Christian. And then we will use, use that to mess you up because you always tell me, you see now, you see now. Uh, if you ask God, he do it, do it, do it. Also, some of us that are already growing in the Lord are still growing. We, we, don't, we don't follow God because of immediate response or ultimate. The immediate response of God are for babies. Immediate response. That, that's, what, that you see. that's why when you prepare the doing, eh? To some of us that actually had a encounter, it is called that anything you ask God, you will see it. Uh -huh. If it didn't happen to you, then you never had that encounter. If after you, 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 you knew how your job got to that, if you don't have any slightest effect, you just say, Shh, it's good. God is trying to, to woo you. To wound, wound how you know how you can be wound. <laughs> it's like to to wound you, it's wound in the air. It's like to it, it will come, 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 as you get into the status that you will ask and you get to shut it up. <laughs> you just say, bah, let's go your enter class two, maturity class, advanced lectures. Yeah. You will not discover that you have that same symptom and, and you do the thing with intensify. Ah. You will so see it will intensify. God is trying to tell you that go beyond the level of following me on the immediate. Have a, a, a knowledge of me that I will certainly come. That is ultimate. That no matter what is said or not said, I will certainly. The ultimate level of our work with God is where God is on daily basis dreaming to see every child of God live into. It is one of the strongest attempts the Holy Ghost is trying to engineer our inner man into the coming. To engineer our inner man into the coming. That is the, the workings of the Spirit on daily basis. That is what the Holy Ghost is doing. Trying to work it out to engineer to a way where you will when you will not follow God because of what you are seeing now or not seeing, but because of the love you have for Him. And that love you have for God will surely pay because God does not owe any man. You are not hearing me. He doesn't owe. 
we thank God for the program. And if you have not actually made up your mind to join us, the program is almost coming to an end. You better wake up. Please, I beg you. There's something I said about two, two or three Sundays ago that there are this um, um, abuse that people used to have social Christians. Because you went through a thing, you were reckless, you were so slapped, you were not serious about a thing, and nothing happened to you. Your man will tell you that. Forget that they used to say, if the Christians don't pray after, which is with you, and which is killed me for 10 years, and which is killed me for 10 years. Now, you don't even know that for the enemy to give you long rope is the shortest way to kill you. For the devil to make you think that scriptures are not real. That whatever instruction you have received is just like threatening you. Is to make sure that when it comes for you, your way of escape will not be possible. <laughs> that is true. So the two of us have in that in this this idea of they are saying if you don't pay your life for those who prove. But what since I'm not paying my as my God closed, as my God closed. It's true, you have not closed. But you cannot actually say for sure that you won't close. Uh, don't yet conclude that it won't close. It can close in your old age. The doors may not close now because they have energy, strength to do one or two more. The time we come, strength will fail. Your being able to wake up early in the morning to jump out to your place of work will not be possible to again. It will take that. It takes you process to wake up. Not that you are sick, it's that you are old. Old age is not sickness. It is grace. Yeah. And I have not been fasting. In fact, I'm not, I'm not that fasting, that kind of fasting believer. Not, not for all this, what I say. That you have been having your way it does not mean that you keep on having your... Yeah. In fact, it is stupidity for you to think that your deficiency your, your disobedience to divine instruction has not brought any judgment to you. It is stupidity. For you to be running your life on that platform. It's not, it doesn't pay at all. There are some people living in sin and like God will in the devotion man, and you are, you are living anyhow and your man told you, uh, since I'm hearing trumpet will sound, trumpet will sound. Has it sound there? Leave that thing. Which trumpet will sound? How will it sound? How will it sound to you? The trumpet will sound. <laughs> it will sound. Certainly, he that is to come will come. And the Bible says, when they shall come, shall he find faith? Shall he find faith? Shall he see something in you? It's not faith to miracles, not faith to receive money, miracle money. The faith here is that we easily find you in the proper position to be raptured. The faith here is not the faith of receiving from God, but the faith of you being a believer. That faith that brought you to Christ, and you say, God, I'm a sinner, come into my life. We easily find you with that faith. Any child of God that is joking with the return of the master, the worst thing. Has happened to me. I'm able to do it. It has happened to me. Somebody shout, God give us the grace. Us the grace. All right, we have by God's grace gone through the week four of our praying and our 40 days and 40 night life in the spirit, praying and fasting program. The week four and the focus. Prayer for us of the before which we concluded this morning, powerfully by that wonderful divine uh, uh, mystery, expanded and expanded. God is building a people here. Forget sometimes, then, sometimes don't yet conclude because of the outer package. Yes. We will gradually work on the outer package. Yes, we will work on it. When he, when he was in church, I said to him, You know, you've been reading this and you, you put on this kind of thing. He told me that, that is down, it's down. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can imagine. So I have to shut up because if that thing is down, then my own is up. <laughs> no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, Reassign the assignment to someone. I'm calling to make it to her. So I told someone, I said, No, no, no. God said to me, Allow him. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I've already told another person that, that a brother will not be good. I told him, I've already told someone. I've already told this person, I said, You are going to do this. No, he will not do it. And as I went and sat down, I was not getting my GC again. You know, when you have a relationship with God, the judgment of man is not the judgment of God. He said, go back and tell that person that you should allow the person that has been announced to do it. Are you the one in starting? <laughs> so, I, I, I said to the person, please allow uh, the brother to do it. At least let us see his performance. Amen, someone. Yeah, right. All right. The worst thing that can happen to the man of God is that you have stopped receiving the current voice of God. You only live on the previous, what the man kept, and you don't know what he's saying now. That is one thing God has always helped me that I have not been a major victim of disobedience to God. You don't go back and do this. They you see that simplicity in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, now uh, we are moving into the week five. Week five of our 40 days and 40 nights, Life in the Spirit, Prayer and Fasting program. Week five. We are moving to week five today. So I'll, I'm, I'll be introducing you. I'll introduce all week five. And I uh, believe that God will be helping us so much today. Amen. All right, uh, we're speaking on the prayer focus of the week five. And the prayer focus of this week five says, I pursue, I overtake, and I recover all. Can you say to yourself three times? One, two, three, go. I, I pursue, I, I overtake, and I, I recover all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy has, taking from you. Whatever the enemy has made very difficult for, for you, realizing it or recovering the back, this week shall put it in your hand and even in double measure in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, even if it is your prayer life, you know, when we talk about pursuing, recovery, and undertaking, oh, your mind only go to material things. There are Christians that the devil has Stole your prayer life. The enemy has said, you, the way you used to pray before now is only when you pray again. The enemy has said, you, you can't explain what happened, but you know that something went wrong. That person is not this me. Before now, when you engage in any uh, spiritual activity, if I told you it was on Friday, there is a difference between spiritual things and the things of the spirit. Yes. I told us that. I told us there is a difference between spiritual things and the things of the spirit. The things of the spirit is based on the gift of the spirit and the fruit are called the things of the spirit. But spiritual things, based on the spiritual exercises, you like prayer, fasting, evangelism, holiness, righteousness, they are called spiritual. We saw, we saw them from the scripture now. We saw them on Friday. Mm -hmm. We saw us over explaining with two scriptures in the, in the New Testament. And let me say this to you. What God be doing this week? Your mind should not only be on the material aspect. Are you listening to what I'm saying now? Yes, because this week, from this morning, we're going to be pursuing. We're going to be overtaking and we're going to be recovering all. But let it not be only on the material things. Allow the Holy Ghost to do his perfect work. There's no feel that I have lost your relationship with God. The devil stole it. It's not this way you love God now. Your first love has died. You know how passionate, how unbridled your following God has been. 
But these days, you can't tell what has happened. And you are even, you are even like, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Now. Let me continue like that. You have even accepted that condition. You have received it. It is now part of your life. But to hell, the devil that has come for that assignment, we are sending that devil back to hell this week. Yeah. Because you have come to be pursuing back your spiritual, uh, uh, your spiritual ability. You are going to be pursuing your, your physical ability. You are going to be pursuing your finances. You are going to be overtaking that devil that is running with it and you are going to recover it in totality. Yeah. So God, if you have this, send it and it is for you, shall be man. We're going to be taking an anchor scripture and we're going to take it bit by bit because I will only stay on that on that scripture. And if you have ever read one of my books called I Must Pursue, I Must, and I Must, you will just get to understand that that is what I will be preaching this morning. <laughs> because the prayer of week five was actually coined from that book. It was, it was gotten from it. It's a graphic picture of that book that we translated into a prayer point. And if you look at how things are going to, let me say this to unfold the the Bible scripture. The battle of the enemy and the church has been an ancient battle of music. The church has been on the path of music. It, and let me be very frank with you. Do you know that if you take time to count 10 rich men you know 20 years ago in the church, go back to them now, you only be tied that one that is still rich. Yes. I've taken time to check that thing. If you listen, just go home, sit down, write down the names of believers you know 10 years ago. Not 20 decades, that just start from the short span of time. Because if you take it from that long span, you might say, I said, we lost years. And then come back and begin to check what they are now, who they are now, on what you know them before. You'll be so shocked that you may have only one or two that are still, and that one or two, they are actually on their way to where others were are found. Their legs are, 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 are actually on that slippery path. They are almost going to that place also. And it gave me a serious concern. And the Lord said to me that the battle of the church and the devil, the king of darkness, making us people to lose things, has come to an end. Amen. Oh my God, who believe it? I don't really care. We are live brokers. People are watching us. I'm sending it all over the world. Get everybody hear me? Anybody that snob it should snob it. I don't care. I know when he speaks to me. He said that that battle, it has been an epic battle. A battle that has that have been long. And people have been losing and losing and losing and losing. But can I say this to you? As this service is going on, and as this week shall be going by, everything you have lost to the devil, everything that the devil has taken from you, whether by your permission or not, I hear that the last of every voice has got to be a restoration. Somebody shall I go Eight. First Samuel to the ten, verse eight. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, "Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them?" And he answered him, "Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all." Now, by the will of God that has brought us hither to on this forty days of ordinary program, which shall also be taken us forth with on that same wing of power and strength. It is exactly what God did in the life of David that is going to be repeated in our lives. Amen. David had an experience that many of us are having. Now let me say this before I continue. It doesn't matter what you have lost. It doesn't matter what is not within your, your, your view, within your, your possession. You used to have it, but you no longer have it. You, you, you know very well that this is what your life, even if it is dreams, 
somebody shout, my good dreams. My good dreams. You know, yes, those years, days they go that whenever you dream, those dreams make your heart to be at peace. But these days, you don't understand your dream like they did. The enemy has stolen that golden part of your dream. There is a golden part of one's dream. The enemy has taken both of it. But now there is something that I want to establish here this morning. Just exactly what God did life of David because heaven has commanded us that we shall go after what has gone after our day. Amen. David lost things and the Bible told us that the wives, the children, the servants, the, the cattle and everything that the enemy took all of them and the devil inquired of the Lord. Now, I want to say something eh, because I'm still going to come to that inquiry of the Lord. They will inquire of the Lord and answer the Lord, should I keep my hands or should I do something? Now, God said to him, David, you will surely recover all, but it cannot be until you arise and pursue over 10 days of the recovery point. Now, that is to tell you that heaven is interested, is permitting you or not keeping quiet whenever, whenever you have lost something. God is in support of you rising up and going after what has come after what is yours. God is in support of you arising and going after who has come after what is for you. If you don't do it, heaven will not do it for you. And I want to say this morning uh, that the God of heaven, who is able and capable to restore all this, shall back you up uh, as we join on the platform of prayer. That God will help us to restore. I hear the sound of a part of restoration. Shall be 
we get back by the power of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be very fast on today's message. I want to actually believe God that we're never going to be hearing today, but we'll give us strategies. I will give, give us strategies. As we all know that today is the first edition of our welfare special support offering. So we're going to actually make sure that we be, be fast into the service. Amen, somebody. Amen. And I want you to understand that there are things you must know if you must be able to pursue, overtake, and do what? And go back on. And I want to give you some of those things so that you will actually know that God is not joking. Come on, for believe that God we serve is not a God of halfway. He is a God that when he wants to restore, he responds to you. Somebody shall be serve a holistic God. To serve a holistic God. Holistic means in wholeness. A God that is not halfway to anything. He is holistic. Not holiness. He is a God that is holistic in nature. Whatever God wants to do, when God wanted to turn water into wine, He did it in a way that there was even a leftover at the end of that marriage feast. When God raised Talita Kumi, He didn't raise her half. He raised that baby, that girl, and she continued to have a God is holistic in nature. Whatever He wants to do, or He has ever done, or He does, He does it completely. Somebody shall not have way. So, whatever that heaven shall be responding this week, it shall be restored in fullness. Yes. It will not be halfway, it shall not be half hazard. Yes. Whatever the enemy has taken, the God of heaven shall bring it back and it shall bring it back in fullness. Yes. If I get that heaven and fuck your one I'm talking to. If you must pursue, overtake, and recover all, then you must understand that there is something that has been taken away from you. You must understand that something has been taken away from you. That's the first thing. If you must arise to pursue, Overtake and recover. The first thing that is very, very important you need to understand is that you must see the reality of the things that the devil has to do. Please stop encouraging yourself in nothing. And there are things, there are these religious encouragement that will tag your feet. So that's I love when I hear some of you because I don't want you to feel bad and I'll just be quiet. You know, someone will be encouraging his myself in nothing else. And I know, I know, God will do it, God will do it, God will do it. God will do it till when? From when? How? God will do it and you have no perspective to what God will do. You are not on the consistent grain of what God will do. He said God will do it. When anybody is asked to do anything and you do not understand what you are asked to do, Abuse is in the devil. You will certainly abuse it. You will certainly abuse it. I hear this all right now. Now let me say this to you. Because there are those that have been saying pursue, overtake, and cover up. The word pursue means to arise and go after something. That is pursue. Go after a thing. I guess somebody so that is pursue. Go after somebody. Overtake means to get to that person and then cross by God, to cross the person as I like stop. You pursue, you go to the person, you can't be behind. If you are behind, you keep on pursuing. If you get to the person and you are still behind, you will keep on pursuing. And you pursue the matter. So once you pursue, get to the person, but you cross the person. Say so stop it. And once the person is stopped, it is called over. You are overtaking the person. The word overtake means you are ahead of the person. Or you are across the person. Or you are before the person. I might tell you something now. And it is then you will say to the person, now whatever the cost you are facing the person and is carrying your thing, you say now drop everything. Drop everything from your death. Drop it here. It is called now recovering all. And when you are behind, you can't see how many of your things that the person is holding. But when you are at before the person, you are going to say, that one is why you're giving them. You are going to say that that God is why you pull it out. And that is where you can have all. But this thing. Into view, it can't actually 
will be played out by any Christian until you understand that something is missing. No matter how you are enjoying life now, don't be deceived. There is a greater and a better part of you that the enemy has tampered with. That's my assignment. Because I've started out to, I've started to like, 
the, the, the little explanation that is very late, like I gave us on Friday, that prostitute questions my At least I see that I look and say, What God? Why? Why is this like that? I was thinking, I said, But why is it that Christians don't like praying? For the people that pray, but why is it that people don't pray? I said, Why, why do we fast? I said, On prayer, holiness, as if the church became new. I mean, grow up church. Like, why, why, why? God said to me that that was the same thing that Jesus saw. That the book of Luke at 11, when the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray, that Jesus wouldn't have said anything. But the only reason why he said that was that he saw that there's going to be a deep divergence. There's going to be different perspectives of prayer that may be outside the corridor of the right prayer form of Jesus. So he said, no, no, no. If I don't say this right now, these people will take prayer in the wrong perspective. That Jesus said to me that prayer has been an issue from the beginning. He said, How can men be with Jesus for three years and a half? And I still ask him, Then you are with me before a practical prayer man. And you are still asking how to pray. God said to me that that is an ancient pandemic, it's an ancient virus. He said, It has eaten deeper into the system of the church. It is, it is too deadly than coronavirus. I heard that it has been upgraded now to Omicron. Omicron. It's a business, they like the TV micro. And that they say now that is him. That the city count of it is now Omicron. It's their business. If they like, let it become Michael. The sicknesses of the Egyptians. The only way it can be yours is when you join the life of the Egyptians. Or when you begin to live like the Egyptians. Not the Egyptians as a nation now. Because I'm still going to Egypt to minister. So that they will not be waiting for me. Now, I'm not talking you know, Egypt is a good country, you know. But I'm only talking about the character. Like Nigeria has character. That's like character of Nigerians. But that does not mean that all Nigerians have a character. Yes. Okay. I've clarified myself, so I'm free to go to Egypt and preach. Amen, somebody. Amen. So it is, it is, it is just that way. So I, the same way I ask God that, that brings God in the place of prayer. But the same way I say to God, you know, several times I say, it's it let me years ago, I said to my, my pastor, I said, that, why is it that many of the priorities we have in our church are all broke? They are not, but they are broke. There's a difference between being poor and being broke. Yeah. And he said to me, oh, I, I said that you know, he said, how can they? How can they? He said, then spiritual things are like packages. He said, it is the package you take leverage. You understand that it's not because you don't pray, you have understood gifts. He said, your financial prayer to only occurs on the platform of giving. Money answered to money. Yes, sir. I said, okay. I got that. And many other things that he opened up. To be in a place of understanding. Now, but let me say this to you. Many people sit there here, and many of the people you see out there that are your, your family friends, eh? the problem they have is that they have been robbed and they don't know they have been robbed. And they gave the permission for that spiritual theft, for that, that thing that happened, that spiritual thing that, that stole what is theirs, and they are not ready about it. But we have come by the power of Elohim that this money, whatever that is missing in your life, uh, that whatever took, even if it is a man that took it on your father's foundation, and that is something that the brother took and said this money, he said that somebody can have blockage by yourself. You can be your blockage, self-imposed blockage. He said you can also experience blockage by occultic men. He said that you can also express it by territoria. That is wisdom that is founded in God's knowledge. He said that I said deep, deep, this one is deeper. And, and, and on that very sharp statement that is full of divine mastery, I want to, I want to lay emphasis on it to say, if what you are looking for, if what is stolen in your life is caused by you or by anything you. I am not in the best service to judge you or to condemn you. I am here to stand in support with you. I decree, Lord, 
what you need to know is that you have to have the knowledge of who your attacker is. You must know who is after what is yours. You must know it. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1. Actually, verse 1, A is what I'm going to pray for you. That's what verse 1. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 1. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burnt it with fire. Oh my God, the battle of taking one's position has been an epic battle, battle, battle of all ages. And on daily basis, this particular epic battle is getting more bruising, getting more more pros is getting more more established flesh and getting more 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 ground to walk in our lives but there's something that will happen god will put an end to it in your time yeah. i said god put an end to it in your time yeah. if you must pursue overtake and come you have, you have to know somebody say i have to know i have to know who are my attackers who are my attackers in the book of first Samuel chapter 13 verse Number one, the Bible made us to know that David was able to know that it was the Amalekite that invented the land. He, he said, and he came to pass with David and his men who were come to Zitran on the top day, that the Amalekites had invented the Ziklag they had. It's not that they came to Ziklag that certain men had invented. It's not it's not something that is that is not clear. It is so so conspicuous. Not ambiguous. It's not it's not something in the in the deep cloud that is not that is not right. They were able to know that need any fact when that about the Amalekite. There are some of you here that as you are getting set to worship over the you don't even know the way to the wood to. Because you can't understand what is happening. But can we ask this week is going on? There's no feel that in the dream of the night, by the vision of the night, don't open your eyes to see that what happened in your life came from your father's house. You will know the right place to fire your prayer on oh God. Somebody is too fire this morning. I said you cannot pursue overtake a cover or when you don't know who your attacker is. If you don't have the knowledge of where what happened to you or what where what is happening to you is happening to you from, you will not know where you are to channel your prayers. If you don't have the perspective of where what is coming to you from, you will not be praying a scattered prayer, praying and miss all kinds of it works sometimes, but it is not always. Prayers that are very stressful always deliver stressful answer. I'm telling you. When you are very, very stressed in your prayers, you have a quicker answer, a spiritual answer, without for much delay. They was able to know that these were the people that invaded the land. There were all that war powers in that time. That used to do this kind of invention. It was not only the Amalekites. There were the Philistines were there, the Assyrians were there, the Syrians were there. There were the many of them that were there. But that David looked at it and said, These are the people that did this. So he now knew the people he can go after. Child of God, by the help of God that came on me from my very young age in life, and that have been in active working data, I command your spiritual mind to be open. the method of the attacker of the attack that enemy is using against you. Somebody shall be modern operandi. You must understand the method. Listen to me. All of this is important to me. That's what we're going to then we're going to have as our the basis of our prayer today. At this point in our air is is forming the basis of our prayers. That 
is what is going to be the domicile the place of our prayers. And you see the force of God, how it's going to be able to help you out. That you'll be able to have it, and not just have it, have it better than you had it before now. You'll be able to talk about it, identify the method of the attack. Or the attacker. Yeah, using against you. Using against you. Verse 7, chapter, chapter 30. That's the verse 1. Read it again. That's the verse 1. Read all verse 1 again. Let me take the sea back of it. He says, And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. The method of the attack here was by fire. And now let me say this to you, in the ancient time, every nation has her own specific method of attacking. Once any nation is attacked and you bring the warriors of that nation, the warriors of the, the nation that was attacked to that, that uh, the scene of the attack, once they come and study the attack, they will tell you that they will be here. Yes, he has just left here. Is that the message? They are told that uses so they like to use stone to plant. Because their, their nation is on the hill. So they like to use what they call war stone. So you see, see all these stones, they use it to create all this channel that are like this. So okay, we visit them. They used to know that this is an attack conducted and coordinated by the Philistines. Now, it, sometimes it looks like something confusing, but there is always this. This uh, war uh, in the war mentality and interests that always help them to have what we call the, the mind of deep separator. That this this ability that is deep to separate, they're able to know that no, they are trying to follow is similar with this and this, but they're able to know that this deep separator, that is what they know. This is the slightest that it is this one. This all because the Amalekites always the way they do that. If you read, oh my god, I wonder what it takes to prosecute this truth now. If you read all the way the, these people attack, they always say this is on fire. Once they attack, the Philistines don't say over what they do is that they take the people into captivity. They don't they will leave your city like that. They will leave your city like that. They will leave your city like that. Or take the people to captivity. The Babylonians that will take you to captivity, take your God, they will call your city, they will take you, take everything, so that even if you run back, nothing to live upon. So this is the purpose of this, and this is the attack from the Amalekite. Can I pray for somebody as I pray for myself also? The uh, uh, one that is attacking you, uh, no matter the method, the modus operandi, whatever the, that is using attacking you, uh, with the person Yes, now. All of these are windows. And, and the enemy is moving forward now. 
Like, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't need to start that despair. No, that did that. He not understood how to go about it. Yeah, that's what you see there here. Eh? You know that something is wrong with your life, but just I like, don't know the way they are doing you that thing. And you are so much, you know, careless to know that that dream you used to have, that dream looks so, so, you know, um, not too meaningful. It, it, it doesn't, it's not the, it's, it's what kind of scary dream that you see. But you don't even know that that dream is the major route and way to that the enemy is using to finish you. Now, whether you know or not, there is a God in heaven who sits above the earth and pretends over the affairs of the earth. He's the governor of the earth, the general superintendent of the universe, and so on. I come today in his name to decree that the attack and the form of the attack is sacred water. If it is a dream they are using, that dream is coming to an end today. Stood on my marriage. If not 
that I made up my mind my wife was stuck, you would have been said today that oh, they are bad. Maybe badness you see today is permitted and allowed by the so called bad. Is forget that comment reaction now. Before, 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 they didn't wake up early. You were too loose. So you were too, they were not fair. They were, they were, it, it went to that. I told you, I thought that first year, second year, I said, nonsense. What was it? I, I, I did it with church medical, whatever, and their treatment. They don't know if I made it, they don't touch it. So they will not be that. I go check it. I go to God, I said, I said, no, I should have this. What they are saying is nonsense. They are not saying anything. They are talking nonsense. Wait to put the Chinese, China people over there, over there, and they put measure together as a nonsense. And my interpreter went with that. It was very bad interpreter. He said only that the, the Chinese doctor said you can so I my problem. The 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 body environmental condition that was around me that day would have put our idea on that board. <laughs> would have put our idea. That boy, his people would have come to collect his rivers. After, but, um, they would have come to, to collect his rivers. They would have come to collect his rivers. I said, the priest is like dead now. How can I say that? I said, I heard something I said, 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 so all this time was asking to send the truth over the night. You say you are small in China, so it is the Chi-Chi you hear in film. The Chi-Chi in China. <laughs> that you want to use to discipline. You say that is true, so I'm happy so that one I meant. See that one you meant. It was then I knew that there was nothing wrong with me and my dear wife. And the good enough that year. Or just the beginning of the year like this, we were doing 70 days praying and fasting. 70. We are not 100 now, coming every day. Just pray your God that I will not add to this 400. It will be one for another. Don't be praying your God. If you explain it, just be praying your God. All of you should gather in groups. Like, thank God that we have, we have our fellowship groups. We want to close the name and say, Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord, you know, you know the man we have. Please allow him to allow us things for him. We will go on for it. Only every day, on track days, only every day. Saturday, inclusive. And every day, all of some groups are there for you. Tell me, don't you? You know what some people say? We saw groups on that day. We don't do that exercise, we do that. That is what we are looking for. That is what we are looking for. I still with them now. We will show us some shop money show us so if you walk out. I used to do 14 days showers, 14 days, every day. Your man, and before before the brother came on, did 14 days, but for the that something's coming from the water. On the time we entered it, the brother was announced. I don't know what I just I saw something coming from the water. So all the people like that I saw big frog come from the water. I said, let's pray. But I'm seeing 14 days. We did it. You were coming from Hong Kong, from this. It was, it was one of two. The boy was large. We entered the anointing service. Go to the pastor. It was all over. She would be that good. She would drink salt. Bath salt. Drink, drink, drink this. Drink this. Thank God there was no drinking of a tap tap People would have died. I read me now. I will say, I said, I said, oh, we pray. I called one, I said, oh, I said, I didn't find any lady to the back room. He did the test back room. This is this 17 days prayer. I said, I said, sort out your body. Let me tell you. Let me say this for you. Whatever you are sourced from is the source that will sustain you. My life was sourced out. From that way of prayer, I would have been a dead man. I would have been a man walking on the street. And that is why my source of sustenance is from where I am sourced out from. I said, What? Well, I don't care. I'm a book from I didn't need to reference the life for. I know what there is no call. I, I, I said, I don't know this thing. No. But, uh, 
they will say, oh, we got that man, what to do? The way she prayed, all the children of our church, all the children in our church, came around her and we were watching her. She was praying and for nobody was on there, no ushers were there, everyone was on his phone. She was praying and crying and praying and crying. All the children came, they were looking at her, I don't know what is that, what was that, what was that, they were watching her, they were not going to pray, it was the children, trying to do what she was now. She prayed, 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 and I saw her, I knew that she was not there. She prayed and prayed and prayed and fell on the front. Ba, 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 ba. You know, my mother does not really be making up an auntie. She doesn't make up an auntie. If you have her as your member, the way they are running there, because she's not in college. You think this is a power of her? No, she will know. She wants to know she is SU. She wants to know the power. She doesn't do that. <laughs> She doesn't break past off seat. I can't I can't to a certain place of God and then we for 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 God to have this on them. You are breaking the seat in the job. I told them, if your father wants to break the seat in the pay 35, there's no fun. So then what that thing was was it was it was mechanic. If you know your father and one thing is a ring, continue. But if you fall, you fall on seat, you break 35. There's no there's only everybody, everybody is like, who has 35 to break? I don't know what I'm and what I'm trying to help the anointing, and you're giving me lazy. And you now, prove to put that you are caught. We are trying to do like this for you. <laughs> hear that thing in the way. I'm all of you. I'm hear that thing. Hear that thing in the way. I'm not going to come here to you. I'm not going to talk like it. Hey, TV. Hey, TV. Hey, TV. I'm not going to talk like that. No. Somebody that is over trust with kind kind of like that. <laughs> and when the person finally wants to fall, you can't look for a specific chair. You don't look for those ones that are too high and high. You look for those ones that have handle, those ones that are too cross high. So you know, I break it. And when they break it, I can break it beyond it. You can't amend it, you can't fix it. So I came up with us on this good night and said, please. I'm not in this window church, but. If you fall on that one thing and fall on my seat and break it, if you don't give me three five, you know that I'm not going to get this. You next one, I didn't see that thing again. <laughs> Everybody got here, they get power of moving in the church. Tell me, someone can go to a walk or a walk or something. I have my own view. <laughs> now, me and you join my own walk. Why do you be showing the money when you join before? <laughs> when I say that, that's so many people were angry. So they're like, I like, want you, the, 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 the liberty of the spirit should not be at the space of my, my church. The liberty of the spirit should not be at the space of the church morning. We will not be buying and that person will be breaking. And people that break are not contributing a dime, but they are contributing breaking spirit. <laughs> Whatever that has been wrought of your life, you may not know the size, you may not know in the particular, but I can with a supernatural measuring rod. Total restoration. You want to see Sarah? If you must pursue, if you must overtake, if you must recover all, you have to know whatever you have lost to the devil is not completely lost, but it is just that it is not in your possession. You must know that whatever you have lost to the devil is not actually lost. It is somewhere, but just like it is not in your possession. Anytime there is an act of robbery, if a thief or an act of stealing happens here, and somebody is full or something that is taken anywhere, now you say, I, I, I was somebody else, they stole my phone. Now, what it means is that your phone is no longer in your possession, but it is still somewhere. The act of stealing is not, it, it does not mean that that is no more on the earth. What it means is that it is somewhere that you don't have right to eat, 
you don't save eyes to it, it's not an impossibility somewhere. But there is a God that knows where everything is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you must, you must begin this, this, this uh, assumption, this other of, of I, I, I lost it. You are not lost it. It's not like stolen in your possession. It is somewhere, and we're going to be calling it back now. If it is not in your head in the east, it will be somewhere in the west. If it is not in the west, it will be somewhere in the south. If it is not in the south, it will be somewhere in the north. If it is not in the marine world, it will be in the Arctic world. Somebody hear me? It is somewhere. Worship person in the world, you don't be doing like I like this. Oh, 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 oh. 
But just use your your Nokia touch phone. Nokia. Nokia. It's here. You say, what is that? I lost my phone. You want to tell you that the, the, the phone. You don't say I I but what she touch at this android does not want this rest that has that has suffered with suffered bondage with my baby. Rubber band, bondage by rubber band. There are people that we, you don't have, you don't, you don't, you, you, you are not moved in worship towards God. But if your husband just gives you a small inhuman treatment, something as if you like you like emotionally you like negative things. If they say this to your wife, or they see when they just say the little thing, small message from your siblings that maybe you know that you just broke up like that. After all, like everywhere has ended, small thing in business, everybody is trying to sympathize with you because the community concern. Small thing, community concern. Something bigger that happened to somebody is nobody had about it. Nobody had about it. Person walking up and smiling, believe God for me, right? Small thing, small. I cannot be compared to that person. So everybody is aware. Everybody is calling you on phone. Anyone that didn't call has become your enemy. You say you didn't call when it happened. What happened? You hear that I didn't say this person is that day. Who did this say? I didn't make any sense. Did he hear it? Did he hear it? People of God are full of emotions. Emotions everywhere. I'm telling the truth. Emotions are people don't win battle. When the did saw what happened to Ziklag, it was something that was very sympathetic. It was not something. David, you know, was a special approach to Ziklag because he had that issue. And yet, man, we did the new stone to stone. They said, We'll give you. We will stone you to death. Once he looked at it, and I mean, David looked at it and he began to cry. But as for doing that, on the second thought, let me say, this is not going to be the solution to this situation. This will not be the what? The solution to, I don't need to be emotional. The Bible said he consoled himself. He covered himself in the Lord, which will be the next thing I'm going to tell you now. Remove emotion from this thing. Stop looking for who knows you, but there are some of you listening to me. <laughs> From my family is testimony. Who, who are you for me to be telling you? Telling you, you think devil does not have come up with attack? You think devil does not come up to mess up? We always triumph over him because we have triumphed over him in Christ Jesus. I'm telling you, so when we seek and you are you are wanting everybody, everybody to line up in your house and be doing vigil with you. That is old, that, that mentality is a cage. That any Christian that is still waiting for that, you are the baby. No real Christian will be want anyone to know that anything negative happened to do with it because it's not the testimony now. It's not the thing. You don't know that. Don't know that. I said to him, I'm What is Bruno's about this thing? I'm wondering people. You told me what was going on and what I was ashamed to announce on the altar. Somebody said that they would be in it. I said, Ah, God, when I'm trying to hide you. We have value. You say should disvalue you. Say the value until next time. There are people that don't understand that that is that is respect when people don't know your details so much. In my Maria Keta, in a job, in a job, in the bear of our water, we are on a food. Whatever the enemy has come from you, no matter how you felt when it happened or how you are still feeling now, that feeling is over because the pain, heaven is coming to end you. Somebody shall no more emotions. No more emotions. Somebody shall no man with battle by emotion. No man with battle by emotion. Somebody shall battles are won by men with lion's heart. Battles are won by men with lion's heart. That's why I tell you, don't check it up in the scripture. Check it up in the scripture. I believe that nothing can 
bring me down. Right? I believe it like today, tomorrow, yesterday. Because I know the God I serve. When God saw the earth, it was full of darkness. It was shapeless. It was void. Did God set up emotion? Did he step into emotion? He looked at it, he passed to back, looked at it again. He said, let that light. Come on, let that light. I know that. Never let that was that. And you are made in the image and likeness of God. Tell me the truth. Then you measure by this one. Tell me the truth. The heart of a man is what puts you in the heart that other men have not attended. The heart of a man is what puts you in the heart. The heart of a man is what puts you in the heart that other men have not attended. Heart. 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 People will take it as it is to special that too. They will take it up. They will know that it's because that's the way you serve God and you don't believe in this kind of pity, pity, kind of Christianity. Everybody has to know that you are broke and what all of that. It's not, it's not spiritual. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and only the violent they get it by force from the day of John the Baptist. You have to be as poor as a lion. Proverbs chapter 28. That is the nature and the stature and the maturity of a Christian. When the Holy Ghost has begun to engineer your heart to that dimension, nothing frightens you, nothing makes you scared. Am I going to somebody now? Nothing makes you scared, nothing frightens you. Somebody shall I hear. I hear. Somebody shall I hear. Say to your neighbor, be careful how you treat people. Say never be careful how you treat people. And we see book of first Samuel chapter 13. Very fast 11 to about 50, very fast. Verse 11. And they found an Egyptian in the deal and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did it. And they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of a cake of peas and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And then he said unto him, To whom belongest thou, and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to Amalekai. And my master left me, because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Chetitans, and upon the coast we belonged to Judah. And upon the south of Caleb, and we both see that the fire. Yeah, God bless you. The young was giving the dependent narratives of how. Now, say to your neighbor, if you must pursue to overtake and cover up, if you must pursue to overtake and cover up, mind how you treat people. Mind how you treat people. Now, let me, let me show you something that happens to when you are kind to people. Every act of kindness is like a roller coaster. You know what called roller coaster? Yes, Merry go round. It's not Merry as Merry. Merry, like Merry Christmas. Like Merry. Uh, Merry go, not Merry. It's Merry. Not Merry. Not Merry. It's Merry, like Merry Christmas. Okay. It's, it's like a roller coaster. It's repetitive. Reciprocative. Now, there are people that can never, your restoration has to happen to a human being. And the person will say, I can never help you. Do you know that's what you need to know here? Eh? Do you know why you will never come out of the situation you are now? You are happiness. It is happiness. You, today is welfare service now, special service. The, 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 the vision of this commission in helping the, the, the needy. A time will come, it will go beyond the need in the church of this branch, other branches. A time will come to other body of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the truth. We can come to Timogo Street now, bring the two flyers, shake off the houses. Everybody that this weekend don't have any rice to cook, please by 3 p.m., we shall be having the front page of our church that you should come here and bring something to cook. Yes. Good. 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 Give it, give it to you will not come to church, not, not evangelism. You give it. So to take battle. 
uh, what do you call it? The budget to launch that. We'll put a lot of things here. Yes, sir. You come! Which is a real good and normal. You see here, the budget. Uh, uh, go to that section. Rabba, go to that section. Not our people only. Then we have the gospel of this kingdom. That is the gospel of the kingdom. And the gospel of the kingdom is the gospel of this kingdom. And then you are not kind. We don't have so care now, eh? Your wife have told you who is not in need, who is not in need. Look at a young man that is from the, the, the army of the Amalekites that was sick. His master told him. This guy had been serving the master for years. He became sick. And the master told him no bread, no water, left him. Now, David came across that same needy guy. This was David that was on the way to pursue, over, overtaking and recovering all. You cannot pursue, overtake, come on, if you are not kind. Kindness is like a roller coaster. It goes like this, come like this. God said to me, for there are what people say, your heart of kindness, nobody can kill you. If there are things you don't hear, I, I can't tell you. You think my life is just Holy Ghost, fire, fire, call on me as a mess of God. Who will not do that? Who will not make a memory of my kind of person? Because who is saying that I think I can turn that force? There are things we do. There are aspects that certain men go. No matter the altar you submit their name, the altar has in time passed or at the back of time. Have somebody of a member of that altar that the church had. Pastor Evans said yes, ago that somebody uh, walked up to a no wizard in our church and said to the man, I want you to, to handle this name for me. The wizard, he brought them say, This man has also brought my child in our church. You said, This man, this man that. He said, I don't have a father since I cannot go to school. Come and go to school. He said, A wizard said, A man that sponsored my child to school. You said, I should fight. I'll fight him. <laughs> so look at you. And a man that, that saw my, my irresponsibility as a father took it on his head. You said, I should walk against. Now you be a woman. <laughs> now you, you will get back. Good things. Let me say this to you. Maybe you help that young man and get the young man bread. If I let me say this to you, on this, on this, on the note of this serious, that guy was not sick, he was hungry. Yes, After he ate and drank water, did you, did you hear me this thing? Did you hear drunk? The Bible said he was strengthened. Right now, wow. <laughs> Maybe they have run out of food and water. And that guy may be the kind of person that is man for them. Uh, you know? If there's not, there's not you cannot pass this to 12. Once it gets you to 12, you are hating me. I don't know why a man will say, God, call me. He will have hands so on the to say 14 and 14 night. And he cannot consider people that are not grown in the laws. How many laws are you talking about? Just, you are not to 12. Just some weeks after 10, the poor are starting to tip me. He will not give me my wife. And that one that God has served the wife. We might feel it like one color to be saying that they consider the weak among you. <laughs> what if the weak are saying should fast? And we will say you should fast away your strength. Can can you? You like food. That is why you are boss of foodfulness. Foodfulness is the cause of what? Fruitlessness like the lack of fruitlessness. When you like food too much, food, food, you lose your fruitfulness. There's nothing like that. I'm telling you now, a life of fasting is a life of pro progression. If you want to get speed in life, eh, learn how to, if it's not God has given you good health, eh, learn how to sometimes stay away from food. You'll be thinking well, thinking well. It's when you lose yourself, you become like big number to three or two. The witnesses are confirmed. Witnesses, witnesses are confirming to my message this morning. 
people that come through the spirit, the spirit shall are confirmed. David praised the Lord. He saw him. He knew that this is one of the armies of the Amalekite because in those days people are known from where they came from. The brothers of Joseph saw Joseph. They could recognize him because they thought he was not an Egyptian because he had the, the, the whatever uh, uh, upper wear and on the job. They had a symbol of serpent there, whatever. They didn't know because that's what the costume of the Israel is. It's not their costume, it's not their way of dress. So when you saw that guy, you know, you know, you know, but you saw that he was, he was breathing to, he was gasping for breath, he was giving water, and the young man said, I'm okay. The young man said, he could be safe. Excuse me, sir. I said, what that said? Are you David? He said, yes. <laughs> are you looking for people that, they, are you from Zika? Uh, are we doing one? But just minus me, I know for you again. The people that did it, they passed here. Now, sir. Okay, let's go. The guy said anything there. Yeah. He said, follow me. Because he knows the track they used to come back. He said, follow me. He said, no, no, no. So like this. As he walks the box, he said, he's standing here, wait until the midnight. The guy has told his girl. He said, in the night, we used to celebrate and break. When they have tried themselves to stoop up and act like that, they've been waiting. And now we say, at the midnight. Child of God, learn how to be kind. Learn how to, listen, learn how to. Today is welfare. Thank God, I don't know how this thing just came across to it. Even if what you came so that you can write something on paper, you can write something on paper and give to the welfare committee members. I tell them next Sunday, I am going to bring an act to this thing. Give to one who you have an act right on paper. This thing that is somebody you are helping. They help you give to men, attract help to you from God. It goes wrong. Some of you are struggling and you are. You are wicked. You don't have, you don't think, have you ever not seen someone in church and you care to ask questions why were you not in church? Just ask and listen, no, but please, my friend, I didn't see. This is oh, 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 you are not fair. Is that your way? Are the pastors are well? Oh, you should have told them and then you pray for me. Say this, say this, say this, say this, say this, say this, and I'll ask you again. Or should I say what we have? Should I say, you said that, say say, 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 say. That is clear. It's clear. Money, money. Somebody shall oh God. At any point in time, I have failed to assist the needy. The need. That is speaking against my life. That is speaking against my life. Help me, so me. Yes, Give me what I am looking for. Give me what I am looking for. In 2022. In 2022. Shout I hear. I hear. Shout I hear. I hear. Now let me say told you, if you must for sure of a take and cover, or you must know that your enemies are always happy whenever they wrong. Who wants his enemy to be happy over what they have done in the world? Like, who do you want the enemies to be rejoicing against you? Huh? You will go after what is yours. When you collect from them what they are taking from you, you will serve them of that their job. Anytime the enemy attacks you, and they make away with what is us. There's a celebration they can't of the enemy. That was why, that was how the devil was celebrating and was rejoicing that he has the key of life and death and has everything. And suddenly he had a knock at the door of Asians. And he said, Who is knocking there? He said, Who is knocking there? He said, Who is the lion of the tribe of Judah? Wow. If an apple or an If an apple or an Because he was back when he was, he was, he was happy. I'm keeping the same man. I'm keeping them there. I'm keeping you know that Calvary is making conclusions. You didn't know that there was a redemptive journey of progression. What was done? Jesus now took us from the Calvary point of view to the designated place of Edis. Designated place of Edis. And as you shut up, he said, open up. Ancient of days is right here. Yes, he said, what is your capacity? He says, my capacity is the one that is strong. That's my capacity. That's my portfolio. Yes, Since you are looking for going by that, that is that is me. Yes, I have in my in my in my career, in my strong and my might. You are not hearing me. 
and the, and the door was broken. This was broken. He me, and he said, Give me the key. Give me this. The Bible said, On that day, they saw the ancient set walking with Jesus on the street of Jerusalem. These were men that had no hope of where their life would advance to. There was no hope of any form of ascension to a better place. We call it transcendence. The transcendence that occurred in their life was not with any hope. It was a hopeless transcendence. But Jesus came and gave up to that existing protocol. And then we are seen. Somebody is about to be seen. Oh, she's not yet married. Church will kill her. Oh, I 
as they will open their eyes in that evil dance, they will see your way to taking place. Amen. Yeah. All the ladies believe in God for marriage and young men believe in God. Can you say amen and take it as well? Yeah. They are rejoicing that you are broke, that you have no meaningful money in your account, and that is the truth. They have kept it on your account, set in your account, and they, they are like, oh. God is going to surprise your enemies and will just over your downfall. Amen. I'm telling you, listen to me. When man falls and you have no God, that is when your falling shall be so at that point. But when you have a God, rising is compulsory. I said, your rising is compulsory. When you have God, your rising is compulsory. I said, when you have God, your rising is compulsory. Now, hear me if you must pursue over death and cover up, you must understand that the men of night are the men of night. You must understand that the men of night are men of night. Somebody shall third watch prayer hour. Third watch, someone said the third watch prayer hour. Someone said men of the midnight. Men of the midnight. Men that pray at midnight. Men that pray at midnight. Men that stand at the camp of the night. Men that stand at the camp. And men that take order in the day. And men that take order in the day. If you want to be among those that will beat the imagination of hell, please arrest the night. The men of night are the men of night. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 17. And we shall be closing now. First Samuel 30, verse 17. And David smote them from the twilight. When did David smote them? From the twilight. What? From the twilight, that is midnight. A, a, a time that was between the, 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 the night of the of the passing day and the morning of the coming day. That is 12 midnight. Read on. He said, and then we spoke there from the twilight, even unto the evening of the next day. Okay. And there escaped not a man of them, save 400 young men, which rode upon planets and fled. Now let me say this to you, if you must be able to be reckoned among those that, that, uh, that are able to pursue, overtake, and, and recover all. Now please, I want you to write down Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. You can recourse to it when you get back home. We will not read it now. You can recourse to it when you get home. You can check on it to see the assignment that is there. That is the recourse. When you get see what you are to learn there. Now, I, I gave you this. I know I have put it for, but I know why I gave it to you. It just came up and my spirit and I don't say, tell them that. When you get home, so that was it. Can recourse on it. This spirit. You get to read it. You just look at it. Read it. Something will fall in your spirit. A dynamic power will fall in your spirit. Yeah. That will take you on this field to make it. Because you need to be very dangerous for the devil. This wicked and very angry. He got a prophetic, prophetically what? Profound. Prophetically what? Prophetically profound. That is The one who told us that it was at the midnight, the night of the night, that David was able to take his enemy. I pity for any Christian that is not having a, a strong and intensified prayer. Night hour. I saw it for you. If you want to be, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. If you ask my bed to so give me my definition, my bed, please know why. I don't always see, I don't always, I, I don't always see, I, I don't always, see, I, I don't always see on my bed. If my children sleep on the door, they'll say that is on the snakes, or that is in the bar. They'll sleep on the door, they'll say that is on the bed. He just got on the bed now. We turn, we saw him on his knee. Ah, ah. Then we turn the eyes the way I do. It is not, I am not married to my bed. There will be something that I want to be compatible to it. It can't, it can't, it can't. 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 It now, you are like, ah, it's not doing business. It's not because I'm not doing business. 
There is no business as intensive as spiritual business. There are pastors that do nothing, but they are not spiritual. In this chapter to be prayerful, especially your six hours. Your one hour prayer at night is more than six hours prayers in the morning. I'm telling you, maintain it, maintain it for a long time. David did not recover at the daytime, David did not launch a pack at night. And David recovered from that morning till the next evening. And why? Because he understood the power and the potency of the midnight men of night and the men of night. You waste your night, complain, complain, complain. Bless for you. You if your phone has become your, your spiritual wife. You don't have a spiritual wife in your marriage. Your spiritual wife is so full. Your spiritual husband is so full. You are doing that. Which one day is she? Mom, you said you know what I have to wake up. How will you wake up when something has kept you too long from sleeping early to wake up to pray at night? I'm telling you the truth. You know why some of you listen to me? I sit in my house, big data in all of our all our branches. The pastors in those branches, they will tell you what you don't do. They are watching that they will watch They will tell you. I'll say, I'll say, you have a number like this. Uh, this is see that you just talked about I said. You start, you start, what's not happening? The pastor does not need to tell me. The pastor does not need to fact, Let me say, ask all of them. None of them. Let the one, none of them give me any report of I am in my secret. I pick it in my house. <laughs> ask them. Ask all of them in their branch. They are they don't say that they handle this thing. They don't as the case is showing up like today's service, I'll pick it. You say that it just all comes like I said, forget it, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Why? You cannot, you cannot eat your cake and have it. If you wait on God, evil men will take off. Wait on God, and whatever that waits on you will take off. Men of night are men of night. And lastly, before we pray, there shall be a sevenfold restoration. Amen. You have to know that also. That is the, the, the final part. Someone shout. If you must pursue, if you must overtake, overtake, and recover all. And recover all. You must believe. You must believe that there must be a sevenfold restoration. That there must be a sevenfold restoration. I told you during the week. That self fold restoration speaks of restoration from every side. It doesn't speak of restoration one, two, three, four. It speaks of perfect because seven is the perfect number of God. Complete number of God. Nothing missing, nothing broken in it. So when you hear seven fold, it's talking about a restoration that in need marriage is involved. In need money is in need. In need that is good health. In need that is peace on every side, not half hazard, not halfway. That's the no food for you. If you read the book of first first summary chapter 30, verse 18 to 20, and that's why I'm going to be closing for today. I'm going to pray. First summary 30, 18 to 20. Verse 18 and 20. And then they recovered all that the Amalekites had carried the one did they recover? Oh. Uh, yeah? oh. oh. All right. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued the stewards. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that see, they had taken. See calculation, see calculation. See how God took time to be, to be calculating and, and portioning it and trying to make you know that no matter what we were able to record that was taken from David, all oh, we are brought back. God is meticulous. It's a holistic God. He, 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 he brings things in their full package. He said there was nothing that David did not say, neither great or small, this and this and this and this, neither this or this, neither this or this, neither this or this. He was included. And that is somebody here. That is somebody here that your restoration shall be in all dimensions. Amen. Because as we display this service, someone shall begin to say of this as your narrative too. That this one, God has visited him you know, in this and also in yes. not only in this, but in this and also yes. and in yes. and in yes. it will be everything will be formed. Your business, your marriage, your 
children, you can get your help for promotion or preservation. Listen to me, I am not talking for the TA. If you know the one I'm talking for, we have talking, we have talking, we have talking, shall fire. Where's your feet? The church cannot be receiving such a powerful prophetic release that you are, you are sitting calm. It's not God. I, 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 I know I may not be, I may, and I not, might not have been so excessively concise in the message, but I'm not, in the, 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 the intention is not to, to actually drag you too long. It may not be excessively concise. I may have been taking some time, but I want your destiny to hear my voice now. I listen to me, I, I, I came to church very provoked. I am angry at that Lucifer that is holding what is yours. Fire will burn them. Yeah. Yeah. Can you look up your friends? It's your way to pursue, your way to overtake, your way to recover all. Yeah. God is taking us primers to primers, primers from one primers to another primers, from one from one pedestal to another pedestal, from level to level. And thank God. And make sure that no package comes and passes by without involving you. This week is a package. Fifth, fifth week is a package. And the package is for sure overtake. Take your home. And if you give God praise for the message, give it praise. We love you, Adonai.
today. Shout, my father, my father. My father, my father. I, decree I decree total destruction, total destruction. Upon, every power. upon every power and evil personality, and evil personality that has vowed never to release me. Never to release me. Never to release to me. Never to release to me. Anything. Anything God has destined for my life.
about that paper. Hold it like something you are about to say to me. Hold it like this. But please, I want you to please make sure that you're going to. I want you to, to take it into, into three portions. Into the first, the first one is that I'll command and I'll say, in the name of Jesus, by the living word of God, every limit you cross it now, you tear it. You go to another part. From one you tear the other half of God's own the virtual paper. You go it. And I'll decree that every limitation is crossed, is broken now. You tear it again. So I want that part to be third. And then will be third. Do you know what I say now? You pack the three together and put it back into that Psalm 27. Tomorrow, by 6 a.m., bring it out. Out of that place. You can destroy it, you can keep it away for the member or any command of that Psalm 27. Are you hearing me now? Tomorrow morning, it was not 6 a.m. You can any time the morning, but any time of the day. Are you hearing me now? Now hold it. Hold it. Father, the name that is above every other name. Anything that represents limits in the lives of your people before the start. From death to death. Whatever that limit is, by the living world, that nothing can stop its functionality. I command everyone here and anyone in your family that is anywhere who believes in the God of heaven you serve. Let that form of limit now be crossed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on about by the authority of the what are doing is highly prophetic. I saw the graphic nature of this in my I saw the graphic nature of it. In the name of Jesus, every limitation that has been standing your way financially, materially, maritally, physically, spiritually, every limitation, maternal, maternal, every limitation, occultic, every self attracted limitation. You cost it yourself. In the name of Jesus and by the mercies of God that fell not. As you tear that paper, you are breaking off from that limitation. Now, in the name of Jesus. Join the whole papers together. Join all them together. I decree that from today, whatever record of limit and limitation has been cancelled in your life. Yeah. Whatever record of limits and limitations, I say they have been cancelled in your life. Yeah. That record is no longer going to hold on you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And for your sake, everyone connected to you who lost the God you serve, the same limit and limitation is destroyed in your life. Yeah. And what the Lord has done in your life today and this fourth week, it shall be permanent. Yeah. It shall be permanent. Yeah. You will testify of it. Yeah. In the name of the Father, yeah. and of the Son, yeah. and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Put us together for Jesus. Keep it back to Psalm 27. Keep clapping your hands together for Jesus. Clap your hands together for Joe for such a wonderful moment of deliverance. Clap your hands together for Jesus.